In this video, we discuss problem 4.4.17 from section 4.4 of Essentials of Statistics, 6th edition by Mario Triola. The problem statement says, winning the jackpot in a particular lottery requi requires, excuse me, that you select the correct four numbers between one and 40, and in a separate drawing, you must also select the correct single number between one and 27. Find the probability of winning the jackpot. Um, this requires us to use both the multiplication rule and our understanding of permutations and combinations. So I'm going to show you how to solve this problem on my piece of paper and then we'll come back to my lab statistics and make sure we got the right answer. Okay, so let's look at this first, um, first part of the statement. It says winning the jackpot requires you to select the correct four numbers between one and 40. So we're selecting four numbers from one to 40 and the order wouldn't seem to matter if you're talking about a lottery. Um, so order doesn't matter. And then in a separate drawing, you must also select the correct single number between one and 27. Oops, select. And you're doing both at the same time. That's why this requires the uh, multiplication rule. And this is find the probability of winning the jackpot. So first we need to think about the probability of selecting the correct four numbers out of 40 numbers, given that order doesn't matter. And in order to do that, in the numerator, we need the number of ways to select the correct four numbers. And then we have to divide by the total number of ways that we could select four out of 40 numbers. So I hope you see that in order to evaluate this, we need to use our understanding of permutations and combinations. When I'm trying to find the number of ways that we can select four numbers out of 40 numbers, I've got to use one of those. Now, since order doesn't matter, um, we're going to use a combination here. So one way of doing this is to just use the formula. So we have 40 numbers and we want to select four of them. Now, the formula for that is to take this 40 factorial and then divide by uh, that number minus four, that number minus this number factorial, and then divide by four factorial. So what we get is 40 factorial over four factorial times 36 factorial. And we can simplify that from here. So this is 40 times 39 times 38 times 37 times 36 factorial, 36 times 35 times 34, all the way down, all divided by four factorial. So that's four times three times two times one, multiplied by 36 factorial, which I'll just leave as 36 factorial. So this 36 factorial in the numerator reduces with that 36 factorial in the denominator. And we just end up with this product over this right here. Now, if we just multiply that out, we get 40 times 39 times, oops, times 38 times 37. And we're dividing by the product four times three times two times one, which is 
91,390. So there are 91,390 ways to select four numbers out of 40 numbers. Now you can use this formula. Here's the formula in general. So if you're choosing 40 or choosing four out of 40, oops, let's say you're choosing R out of N available items. You take N factorial and you divide by R factorial times N minus R factorial. Now you can always just use this formula as we just did. Um, I do want to point out the intuitive approach as well. The intuitive approach gives you exactly um, the same answer. So the intuitive approach is this. If you have 40 numbers and you're selecting four of them, well, you've got 40 options for the first number, 39 options for the second number, 38 options for the third, and then because you've already taken three out, you only have 37 options for the fourth. But the problem with that is that the order matters. If I multiply all of those together, let's say I chose a, a certain number here. Let's say I add the numbers are one, two, three, and four. If I multiply all of these together and the numbers are, let's say one, two, three, and four, it turns out that this is counting one, two, three, and four as different from two, one, three, and four, and as different from um, two, three, uh, one, and four, and so on. Uh, let's see, uh, three, four, uh, one, and two, and, and so on. And we don't want to count all of these as different. If these four numbers are the winning lottery numbers, it doesn't matter if you chose one, then two, then three, then four, or if you chose two, then th one, then three, then four. As long as you have one, two, three, and four on your list, you're going to be good to go. So we don't want to count these all separately. Now, I have not listed all of the possible ways that I can arrange these, but the possible ways that I can arrange four digits are this many ways. Um, I've got four options for the first digit. I've got three options for the second one. Um, after choosing the first two, I only have two digits left for the second one after, or the third one after that. And then after choosing that one, I don't really have any options. I've only got one left. So we have four times three times two times one ways that we can arrange those four numbers. So we take what would have been the permutation, which is the number of ways that we can arrange uh, four, or we can choose four of these 40 and then arrange them in a certain order. And then we say, okay, I actually don't care about the order. So every time that I accidentally counted something twice, I wanna divide that out. And um, we actually counted this combination eight times. So in every combination of four, eight times. So we wanna divide by eight um, so that we actually get the right uh, number of combinations, treating each of these as the same. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, it's okay. You can always just use this formula, but that's where this formula comes from. This part here is this numerator. It gives you um, the permutation, the count for the permutation. And then if we divide by R factorial, that is dividing out all of the times we counted a group more than once when we meant to count that group only once. Okay, so that gives us that part. Let's go back to the question here. It says, winning the jackpot in a particular lottery requires you select the correct four numbers between one and 40. So we want the number of ways to select the correct four. Well, there's only one way to select the correct four. You'd have to choose those. And then divide by the total number of ways that you could select four out of 40. And that's gonna give you this. The probability of selecting the correct four is one out of this 91,390. Now we want to do that first. And in order to win the jackpot, look at the question again. We also must select the correct single number between one and 27. Well, if there are 27 numbers and there's one of them that's correct, you have a one in 27 chance of choosing correctly. So we wanna take this 
and we want to multiply by the probability of selecting the correct number. Sorry about that. I don't know why this has been happening lately. Just sort of something's wrong with my Zoom, I guess. I'm selecting the correct number. Oops, sorry about that. Jeez. It's a little bit obnoxious, isn't it? Selecting the correct number out of 27. And we've got one in 27. Now, according to the multiplication rule, if I want to do this and then I want to do this, all I have to do is multiply those two probabilities together. So the answer that they're looking for is one out of 91,390 times one out of 27. And when we multiply those guys together, sorry about that, something has been going on with my computer lately. It's a little bit buggy for some reason. Here we go. We'll take this and multiply by 27 and we get that huge denominator. So I've got one in uh, 246 or 246 So that's 2,467,530. Now let's go back here. So I want one in. Two million four hundred and sixty seven thousand five hundred and thirty. So if you happen to guess those, it looks like you must be pretty, uh, pretty lucky. And that's how we solve that problem.